We're now going to look at the iPad AED trainer. So it's a good one for use in training because it does simulate the live unit. Uh, the AED comes as itself, the main unit here, and the, the pads are already pre-assembled. It has a carry case and also a pack with the remote control and the batteries in there as well. So everything you need to get started is included in this. Uh, looking at the front of it, you've got a carry handle, same as you with the live unit. Speaker on the front, you can adjust the volume and things like that with the indicators on the front here to say when the pads are on. It's a simple one, two, three instructions. So to turn it on, all you need to do is just hit the on button and to turn it off, you can push the same button, hold it for a few seconds, now it'll switch off. This is a semi-automatic AD, so we'll have a shock button on there. And the I button um, can do other changes and change language and things like that with that button. You have a plug on the top here you can remove and put it back in so students can practice changing the pads. Uh, on the back of the unit you have the pad cartridge itself which you can just pull out. So here are your standard pads. As they're training ones you can just reseal them back into the pack and then pop them back in place. Underneath here is the battery compartment. So to pull that out you literally just uh, get hold of the end here and just pull this carrier out and then you can just take the battery compartment out and inside it takes six AA batteries. So when you need to, pop that back in. And there is a low battery alert on it as well, so if you're checking the unit and you hear the alert, then obviously you need to change the batteries on your course. So it's always worth keeping some spare batteries with you. So the uh, pads themselves slide back in there. So from this side, it's nice and easy, like the live unit, you can see where you can pull the pads out. Um, the other thing with the iPad AD is adult and child setting on it. So if you put your finger inside here, you can open the cover up and change it from child to adult setting. Um, the advantage of that is it's impossible to actually accidentally put it into the wrong setting because once this covers over you can't move the switch. So what I do to show you what sort of sounds and how this button works. If we switch it on to start with you'll see it first off tests all the lights are actually working. Call emergency medical And services in the same way now. it will tell you what the live adult unit will do. Mode. So it's adult mode. If I switch it to child mode. Follow set to paediatric mode. So each time you do that, it will give you voice Set prompts to adult mode. To exactly what you want. You just literally cover that over and stops Remove it being accidentally pushed. From chest and stomach. Voice prompts work Rip the same as the live unit. So you're training people to use the live unit. Take out the to turn it off, if you wanted to shut it up, device. just push and hold the button. System shutting down. And that will shut the unit down. You control things through the remote control. So you can got about 10 scenarios on it depending on whether you want it to shock or be no shock advised. You can pre-program those and set it up beforehand so each of the students can get different scenarios. Or you can do a basic scenario to start with and then change the scenarios as time goes on uh, with more advanced settings. Now this is the, the iPad trainer, but um, if you've got this and the, the customer's got a different brand of trainer, uh, sorry, a different brand of live unit, it's fine to train the course using this one because you're teaching the basics of using an AED. There will be slight variations in the wording and how this one acts as to another brand. The other brand may not have a child setting, for example, um, but in order to train in the lesson, if you had this trainer, it would work on, you, know, you could you know, train anybody in how to use them. So overall, it's a very good uh, unit um, with the carry case as well. All the bits and pieces, the spares and remotes go in the pocket on the front. Um, it does come with a shoulder strap as well if you want to use that to make it easier and it's very clearly identified as a trainer because uh, you wouldn't ever want to get a trainer mixed up with a live unit. So this is the iPad AED trainer.